Good evening and thanks for joining us. It was a mix of motorbikes and dogs earlier today as the SPCA hosted their second annual Hogs for Dogs motorcycle rally. And as Anne Canafe reports, the rain didn't keep everyone away. Last year, kind of the same thing happened as this year. We ended up having a rainy day and so, and it was beginning of June and we decided like, let's do July because we have better odds of having a sunny day, which didn't happen. <laughs> Even with the rain, about 20 bikers came out to support the animals and Miller says they hope to raise $5,000. I'm pretty sure that our highest pledge so far is it's 1770. The money that we raise at them goes towards our operational costs at the SPCA. And those from the Border Town Hog chapter say being a part of this day shows the true heart of their group. The biker persona is, you know, those big, scary, burly guys that uh, uh, ride loud motorcycles. We do ride loud motorcycles, but uh, when it comes down to it, we are uh, just a big, caring bunch of people with big hearts and uh, love animals and dogs and kids and uh, do what we can to help out the community. And the biggest need in the animal scene right now is foster homes a temporary place for the animals to stay before adoption. Especially at this time when it's really high kitten season, you know, and I mean in puppy season too, but we haven't been hit as hard with puppies as we have been with kittens. The riders went from Lloydminster to Elk Curve, Dewberry and back. Anna Canoffate, Newcap News. Students and staff at E.H. Walter School in Paradise Valley will soon have more room to move around as there are plans for expansion. The oldest section of our building is uh, 1958, uh, grouped with four different uh, pieces together, but uh, definitely showing its age. Principal Calvin Anhorn says they hope to start construction in February or March next year. The expansion will include electrical upgrades, a larger gym and a stage. We'll, we'll lose a little bit of space, but uh, when you restructure it into different uh, setup, we'll uh, still come out pretty good. And the uh, additional size of the gym, uh, the community is raising uh, approximately $1.4 million. The $10.8 million project is being funded by the Alberta government. It will be located at the back of E.H. Walter School. The completion date is expected to be in the fall of 2016. Drivers and pedestrians will have to take another route for the next two days on a section of Highway 617 as it's temporarily closed. 39th Street and 50th Avenue was closed off at 7 a.m. this morning. The closure is part of the Highway 17 couplet phase 1A project. Crews are working on storm sewer upgrades to increase capacity to the current system. Now once completed, the north-south corridor project will see 49th and 50th Avenue transform into one-way roads from 41st to 57th Street. The road will be closed until 7 p.m. tomorrow. After hot temperatures last week in the border city, we have some good news for those who want to cool off, especially for the younger ones. The spray park at Bud Miller Park is now open. It officially reopened yesterday after some mechanical repairs. The 540 square foot area is free of charge to the public. It will be open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. during the summer months.